Hi, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to Building Your Path to Success. And here on this channel, I give information to both high school and college students so that they can learn to separate themselves from the pack by building a meaningful resume with internships, conferences, other opportunities to ultimately end up in the career pathway that they want. I give out lots of information in short spurts of time. So that way I can share the information. And if you're interested, I always leave um, how to go and research the additional information. Today I'm gonna to talk about, I do a lot of uh, information about bridging programs. Um, and right now I'm gonna talk about a bridging program in computer science. But before I talk about that, I just wanna give where we are as a country right now and how high school counselors are being trained um, to kind of how they want us to kind of direct or tell students what to do. At this time, one of the things that we're being taught is letting students know if they're going to college, no matter what they're majoring in, they should get a minor in something under the umbrella of computer science. We know everyone's not gonna be a computer scientist. Everyone's not gonna be doing um, IT. Everyone's not gonna be doing coding or cybersecurity or intelligence, but they want everyone to have a background in computer science under that umbrella because no matter what career you go into, the technology is um, at the forefront of every career and it's moving fast. In saying that, I do want to talk briefly about a program at NYU. It's a um, NYU Tandon Bridge Program. And with this program, bridge students can apply for select Tandon MS Master of Science degree programs. And there's no fee to apply for this program. Again, there's no fee. This program has start dates in the um, fall, summer, and spring. You have to have earned your four-year bachelor degree um, before you start. So that means that if you're going into your senior year of college, you can apply for the summer or fall of the next year and start that application process now. This is a very competitive program. This program is you do not have to have a background in STEM at all to do this program. But I want you to hear what I'm saying. And you do not need a background in STEM. Computer science does have a lot of math and there will be a lot of math in this program. And there'll be, uh, I'm not sure of all the classes, but I do know it's gonna be competitive. And programs like this, they're looking to bring people on and they have ways of filtering people out. So I would say apply but know if you are accepted in this program or any other program, be prepared to buckle down and work hard. Okay, this program, you will earn 30 college credits, um, leading you, um, giving you the background so that you can see if you wanna go on into that master's in um, computer science. There is an online application. You're gonna need your resume, your statement of purpose, Again, there's no application fee. You're gonna need transcripts. All the things you would need, need in order to go to any kind of graduate or post uh, bachelor program. You also gonna to have to uh, make sure you meet all the timelines. And you know, this program, like I say, is gonna be a great opportunity for some people. This is not a program for everybody. Again, this is not a program for everybody. Uh, one of the things I do want to stress about this program is you want to go ahead and apply early. I say this about any program and uh, every program I talk about. As soon as the application opens, you want to apply. Um, When you do the bridge application, you will clearly see it separate from the regular application and 
you want to make sure that um, when you apply, and I have done a video about applying to graduate school, this is not a, a sole um, application. The application comes from you, but I'm always telling everyone, have a team. Even, you know, I help people when they apply to college. You need a team. I don't try to edit people's um, application for college, and I'm sure they're not going to try to edit anyone's statement of purpose. But if you have an English professor, let them review it. You know, I work on a high school level. I have, I tell students clearly, I can read and write. However, the English teacher, that's their area of expertise. So you wanna kind of have other people that you have to do the work and we could give input, but you know, and maybe if there's a career center, they can look at your resume and give you other tips. These are little things that we often talk about. So if you know you want to apply for this program or any other program, you may want to reference back to my video about graduate school. Even though this is a bridge program, the competition is the same. Again, if you think you're interested in a master's in computer science, this is a great, this is one of many routes that may get you there. This is a great opportunity. It's not going to cost you anything but time. The application is free. I'm going to put this information in the link. If you are um, interested, you know, the, all the information is there. If not, pass it on. If you like this kind of information, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Good luck to everyone who's applying for this program or any other of the programs I spoke about or other programs that you will be applying to. Make sure that you're ready for the application process. Get someone to read that statement of purpose, someone else to read over the resume or your CV, depending on what's needed for each program, and good luck to everybody.